How's it going everybody? Um, so in this video, I am going to talk to you guys about how to get veins. I'm going to talk just a little bit about the basics of doing it. And then I will show you guys an exercise at the end that can help you out. If you guys don't know now on my channel, I'm kind of focusing really on five or six different topics. Um, veins, abs, height, um, mewing, jawline, and another topic of my choice. <clears throat> So if you guys are seeing um, abs, veins, stuff like that, it's because that those are the topics I'm focusing on. So lots of videos on those. One thing I really want to talk about for veins, and this is something that I've been doing myself, and this is something that I've experienced as well, is um, I am currently cutting weight. <clears throat> I started at 201 pounds in the morning. Today I'm at 194 today was officially two weeks of cutting weight. So I dropped seven pounds, pretty good, hoping for about anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds, my first month of cutting, the second month, again, 10 to 15 pounds. So here's the thing with veins, body fat percentage is very, very important. If you guys look at my Instagram account, DylanBerg999, you will see three or four recent posts that I posted, that's me sitting at about 200 pounds. So if you guys will notice, I am a little bit softer. I'm not as lean because I am sitting at 200 pounds. But if you look at posts that were um, like a couple of years ago, I was sitting at anywhere from 165 to 170. That's 30 pounds difference. And my veins are night and day. Like when I'm 170, my veins are completely popping out. It's insane. When I'm 200 pounds, I still have some veins. It's just not as visible. So a very, very important thing for getting veins is your body fat percentage. It's probably one of the most important things. The exercises will help to a certain extent, but um, the, the low body fat percentage is very, very important. Another thing too, when you're going about losing the weight, and this is something that's very, very important, you want to do it at a very, very slow pace. My first week of cutting weight was basically almost at maintenance calories or 250 calories below my maintenance. So the first week I only dropped a couple of pounds. The second week I dropped five pounds. So a lot of people, what they do is that first week they'll drop eight pounds or 10 pounds and then they'll kind of wreck it because they drop weight too quickly. So you really want to ease into your weight loss and you want to reduce the amount of calories, reduce the amount of calories as low or as limited as much sorry, as minimum as possible. So if you're eating 3,500 calories to, to build muscle on, cut calories on 3,250, you're only creating a 250 calorie deficit. That is it. And what this does is this makes your metabolism extremely high. What this allows you to do is it allows you to cut weight at a lot for a longer period of time. Um, and it allows you to lose more weight at a faster period of time. So that's just something to keep in mind. Your body fat percentage is very, very important. Um, so yeah, end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg 999. Thank you.